All right, so I just uh, want to check in with you. Um, I put a ton of paint on this painting. Really what I'm doing is, is almost like the paint by number thing I talked about. I'm doing my best to match my colors, okay? You can see I've done that a few times here. Uh, this is my second palette. Um, so I've torn off the uh, foil twice now, I'm moving kind of fast. Um, and I'm just really trying to get into the groove with the color. Um, and it's taking me some time to do that. Um, a little bit more time than it normally does actually. I've got a lot of this kind of greenish color coming in there and I'm trying to sort of warm it up as I go too. So um, anyway, um, I wanted to give you a little bit of, um, show you a little bit of blending um, and I'll just kind of do that for a few minutes here. You're gonna want your photo um, to be, I uh, wish I had a clamp, but you're gonna want your photo to be around when you do this, okay? Uh, and I'll just set it right there, all right? And before it dries, and you can even come in with a larger brush with the hair. Now, the moves that I'll make here aren't, aren't permanent, and again, it's setting up really fast here. Um, but none of these moves are really permanent in the sense that you'll most likely be back. You'll be back to work with um, a lot of these areas using a little turpentine to kind of reconstitute some of this cured paint here. Okay, so you can grab a little turpentine out of your jar there and just sort of, it won't work if it's truly cured, but if it's just setting up a little bit, you can come in with that turpentine and kind of pull some of this stuff back out and do a little bit of your blending. And as you're blending, you're watching your photo of course, the hair gives you a little opportunity to kind of freestyle a little bit, but you don't want to get too far from um, the way the photo looks. It'll really start to uh, hurt the overall finished product here. So just going in and I'm kind of knocking down some of my, what I call snow plows, where I've got some of my big chunks of paint, just sort of working in there. Occasionally when you do this, you lose a little bit, um, you lose a little bit of your definition or your texture or whatever. You can see I just kind of, what they call scumbled, I just kind of scumbled in this uh, fleece jacket here. All right, I kind of matched the, a couple of the colors, put in my shadows, and again, I can just kind of use my brush to agitate it a little bit and to kind of create that texture of that jacket. And again, I can go in with another layer or two of this, but you just wanna kinda of beat it up a little bit, looking at your photo as you're doing it. This is not by any means finished, this area, but at least it's got a nice, what's called an underpainting. So it's got some of this uh, color that we need to be under the painting. So the next time we come in, um, it will provide a foundation or a, a, a kind of a base coat. Oh, I should have had a clamp here. We do have clamps in the studio. But again, add a little turpentine just because it was wanting to um, tighten up a little bit. I'm just gonna go in there and just kind of scum, like doing this kind of quick. Okay. Just kind of pulling that in. Just again, I can come back in on it with another coat later on here. Notice how I'm wiping my brush, just like I did with the sphere. Wiping my brush as I kind of do my blurring and my blending. Coming in, some of these high spots and low spots, looking at that photo. Kind of got like a little transition up through here, so I want to kind of knock that down, play with that a little bit. If I take the time to put the proper uh, colors into my painting, let's bring a little bit of this kind of green up. There we go. 
um, when I go to do this blending, it, it's that much easier. I don't have to worry about um, things being all off with color. Everything's pretty close. It's not quite there 100% yet, but you know, I've got a pretty nice foundation here to lay in my color. And using that paper towel to just kind of wipe out that brush. Trying to emulate this photo as best I can. Obviously there'll be some areas where I uh, haven't quite hit the color or maybe I lost the structure or the shape a little bit. And that's, you know, in, in another round here and, you know, next time I come in to paint, I'll notice those problems and I'll go in there and I'll start putting that in there. Okay, I'm going up into her forehead here. I can come in and just sort of, again, really looking at that photo. Just kind of knock some of these colors down, similar to what you did with the sphere. Okay, come in here. Oh, need like a little dark along here. Need this reddish deep dark in there. I forgot that. Okay, and then that will blur like that. Again, we don't need perfect yet. Mixing up some little colors here to patch in some things as I go. Okay. Get that along there. Need to break that up a little bit. Get her eyelid in here. Eyelid's down in there. We fix that a little bit. Again, you gotta be patient. Nothing's gonna be perfect yet. Actually, it won't be perfect ever, probably. Working along that edge where it meets her. a little crooked here. Straighten that out a bit. Sometimes too while you're at it you sort of add like little highlights here and there. A little bit of color up in there. All right there's this whole network of stuff going on and you don't want to bypass any of this. You don't want to just say well you know, I don't, I don't feel like putting all that detail in there. I'll just, you know, kind of wing it and smush it all together. That rarely works. Um, this is going to be kind of a little sliver there. I didn't really get to the eyes yet. Okay, there's that kind of little patch there. And then in there, there's little changes too. Very, very specific. See how this looks? This looks actually pretty good. Got lucky there. Okay, grab a little bit of this light again and just so I can blend these two together. Gonna to blend those down like that. We got a little light sort of sliver that comes in right about there. We want to make sure that we get that. That's that smile. Right here on the top of our nostrils, a lot of times we have a little bit of a dark area. Probably not that dark. So I'm going to take a little light and adjust it. Okay. And then, you know, her cheek kind of comes down. So we want to blend that down like that. We actually have a slightly darker laugh line right there. So we can probably... Sneak a deeper, darker laugh line in there like that. You can see my rag from wiping it. So again, you're, you're doing a whole lot of that. Wiping that rag over and over. Okay. 
find myself kind of going between things a lot. I've got this, uh, I think that's called your septum, if I'm not mistaken. So we got that piece right there. Okay, wrap that around, shopping around, making sure that I've got all these little nooks and crannies kind of taken care of. Um, we've got that crease that I told you is really important. In fact, I'm gonna to switch to my smaller brush for that. And you know, once in a while, if you have to kind of pull a line down, you might wanna thin your paints down just a bit. I just want a dark. I don't want it too violet, so I'm gonna add some yellow, a little bit of red. Like that'd be pretty good with that blue in there. Okay, so okay, find it. <clears throat> find yourself kind of holding your breath there, just trying to get that right. Noticed a little spot right here, and I had, happen to have a decent color on my brush. Right there. Get rid of that. Okay. Um, and then, you know, as you're, as you're kind of piecing this together, it looks like I got her lip just a little big. And knock that down a little bit. Like so. Now I got a little small. So you're always sort of back and forth with it a lot. Okay, need to do that and that. Okay. And then in here, and you got your color, so you start to really develop your palette. Goes pretty dark under under the nose there, and then clear out to here. Okay, and you can come in with some of this light here. Of course, this is blurrier right there. I'll tweak that a little bit. Looks like it's a little off. That was a very dark area that I just did not have dark enough um, in the first video. And you just, you know, you gotta trust those little, let's see if we can get a little dark in there. Okay. You gotta trust those little, um, sheets of paper because they, they really do a good job of um, convincing you that you need to get darker, you know? Um, you just don't believe it, but sure enough, you needed to get darker and you didn't. So just with that blending, like in an area like right here, okay, so I want to come in, this is all wet paint, so I want to come in like that and kind of blend that down bottom of that lip there we want to work that a little bit even the lip itself it's almost dry but we got got to get up in there there's this you know pretty dark part of her lip here up in there and again I fix that up a little bit in a second here This lip needs to come up a little bit. And then over, and then what we need to do is we need to build up 